Hey everyone, so today I did not plan on making this video today. I, you know, I woke up this morning, we knew they did, we knew this December update was coming today, and I was expecting that it really was just going to be a normal drop pod, and that was going to be fine. Like honestly, I was like, maybe some improvements to networking, you know, that kind of thing. Not anything huge, which was kind of to be expected. They weren't really talking about this update. They gave us a few tweets here or there. But there was really no teasing. There was no, there was really no hype built, and any of the hype was really done by the community, or I guess a little bit by three four three not really saying anything. So even minutes before this update went live, I was being like, "Hey, we really need to temper our expectations," even on Reddit, and then the update dropped, and. I was very surprised by this update. So I'm putting out a video <laughs> right now. Now, the big news is we got the custom game browser, which, you know, we weren't expecting this until March, I believe, uh, when season three was supposed to come out. And not only are we getting it sooner, we're getting it before the holidays, which is awesome. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really explore it yet, but just the fact that we got the custom game browser you know, early in December, like months early is awesome. And and to me, I think this really speaks to them getting Forge and Co-op out the door really um, freed up a lot of engineering resources to get these features out the door. And I think we're going to see a lot of improvements come to Halo um, because they're no longer just trying to ship those core features. So... I'm super excited about Custom Game Browser. I mean, this coming out today is amazing. And I'm currently now reevaluating what my plans were after work today. But um, this is really exciting. Uh, of course, we also, you know, we get the Pit remake. We we kind of knew this was coming. It's This was the last update of the year. And they said Pit, what, this, uh, this remake was coming. So that's unsurprising. Um, mouse and keyboard improvements. Um, you know, they're updating how the mouse wheel works, uh, how we're people are finally getting red reticle on the PC. Um, there's some other armor core updates. So we're getting some free armor cores. Um, there's been some reports of some new cross core. The patch notes are not currently live yet. So it's hard to confirm exactly that. Okay, so after I recorded the initial video, we finally got the full patch notes. And there were a couple other big things in here that you know, are just make this a really awesome update. So we're getting some networking improvements. Now we already kind of knew these were coming, um, but some improvements to melee, um, energy swords, and when you lunge to when you lunge towards enemies, um, players will be less likely to briefly teleport away or desync uh, after having their vehicle hijacked. Um, and reloading weapons is less likely to result in a fake or ghost reload. Um, so some big improvements, and you know they are clearly working on desync. Uh, and then also one of the one of the big ones is now we have now we have player reporting and muting in game. So you can report a player and you can mute them right from the scoreboard, just like we could in 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 past Halo games. So awesome, awesome other additions. Um, but overall, I wanted to put out this quick video because this is, this is a huge win for Halo. Like this is the kind of updates that I think a lot of people in the community have really wanted. And I'm really glad that they were able to drop this as a surprise as, you know, there were, there were no leaks that we were getting the custom game browser today. There were no leaks that it was coming anywhere sooner. I mean, there were still people, some people saying that we may not get the custom game browser with the launch of season three. And here it is today, months early. So I think, I really hope that this update really shows that 343 was, was trying to ship major features, you know, Forge, Network Co-op. And those are taking a lot of resources. Um, and now, now that they're out, they can focus on these other things that the community wants. And I really feel like this is a turning point for Halo. You know, we already knew that 
this season and season three were going to be shorter than six months. Um, you know, maybe we'll even maybe we'll finally see some season three being three months. That'd be awesome. It's already scheduled for three and a half months, so you know we'll see. Um, but this also makes me wonder, you know, could there be other improvements coming down the road since this is already shipping? Um, but I don't want to speculate on that. Um, I'm just really excited. You know, I did not expect this update to be today, um, or to be what we got today. I, yeah. Um, but that's it for me today. Uh, until next time, this is the Average Halo Gamer.